everybody, Zionesk111 here, and welcome back to more FTL Faster Than Light. Before we get back into the action, a quick announcement I must make. I am getting really close to 1,000 uploads on this YouTube channel, and I want to do something to celebrate the occasion, but my mind is a bit all over the place about what I want to do exactly. Part of it is telling me to just do one second of every single Cyanesk 111 video up to this point. Another part is telling me to do some reactions of my past videos. And yet another part is telling me to stream myself chatting with some viewers, if any want to come by. I have no idea how I am torn right now. But, what better way? to cope than to play some more FTL while waiting for my mind to make up. Hmm? I thought so. Um, in the last run, I played as the Kestrel B, also known as Redtail, but I didn't get as far into the game as I thought I would. But good news, we're going to move on to our very first Type C ship ever. The Swallow. And judging by the markings, I would say we are a pirate crew. And it even comes complete with the pirate emblem. Okay, it has two human crew members, one Lanius crew member, dual lasers, and an ion stunner. As always, I'm going to be playing on easy difficulty with advanced edition content enabled. And with that, let us begin. Okay, what tip do we have this time? Weapon order. Rearrange a weapon or drum schematic by dragging it into the desired position. The leftmost slot will be the last to power down if the system is damaged. Okay, so that would mean that the rightmost system will be the first to go down when the power's down. Let's get him on real quick before I jump to the very first beacon of the game, and what do you know? It is within a nebula, and it's within an ion storm. How could I have guessed? I'm already getting screwed over. Okay, so I think my first order of business should be to get that ion stunner fired. Okay, I took out its weapons temporarily. Its shields are going back up. Okay, I've taken out its shields now. Oh, it looks like there's a... Yeah, there is a fire in the sensor system. You have made our point. We are beaten. Uh, you're a rebel, and I'm trying to help the Federation. Why don't you just go die? Ooh, that almost hit my piloting system. Okay, now it hits my, uh... Well, one of the rooms. I didn't exactly catch which one it was. Okay, I've got to get my sensor system repaired before we move on, real quick. With two people, it shouldn't take too long. But yeah, I... My sensors are no use when... When we're in nebulas. Or nebulae. Anyone know what the proper plural term for nebula is? I think it's nebulae. That's what I'm sticking with, because I've seen it more often. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Uh, no thanks. I may be a pirate. But even I know better than to take people's money. 
and they're warping into the oxygen. My Lanius crew member can take the lack of oxygen A-OK. -okay. Uh, yeah, it took out its weapons. Okay, now you go back to your station. Arius. I better activate my clone bay because... Because crew members get healed every jump when the clone bay is activated. And there we go. That's ship number two down. Several more to go. I'm gonna save my scrap for whenever I really need a better weapon to use. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling post. Outpost. Intervene to defend the post. Outpost. Detecting the higher threat, the ship, automated ship, moves in to engage ship. Your ship. Continue. Uh, sorry if that annoyed you a bit. Okay, I've got to render their missiles. Oh, I just... I just shot down one of their missiles, actually. Hit it. Thank you. And it's down. The outpost hails you after the scout was destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Ooh, goodies for me. You detect a rebel scout on an attack approach to a small refueling post. Outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. I am going to intervene to defend the post. Outpost. The rebel responds to your threat. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. Be moving to engage. I expected. Okay, yeah, I gotta remember to use the... Uh, ion Stunner to take down that shield first. Take it down. Thank you. Oh, uh... I didn't realize I had those doors open the entire past jumps we've had. Go on and take down that shield, please. Ah, uh, pain in the arse, this is. A lack of oxygen is nothing my Lanius crew member can't handle. Okay, now you get out of there at this instant. Thank you. Okay, we finally got that ship down. The post, outpost, hails you. The pompous bastards expected it free service just because they defeated the Federation. Take this for the help. Why, thank you. Where, oh, where is a store when you need one? There is nothing here. Maybe I can find a store at this beacon? You come across a space station under construction. You receive a message from their command tower. Greetings. We recently lost contact with a cargo ship that was set to deliver more construction materials. Could you help figure out what happened to them? There's an option here because I have a Lanius crew member. That could often be beneficial. Interesting. So this metal man can help us make some of these unique parts out of scrap? That would be a huge help. Your crew member checks over the blueprints and quickly converts some of the base material sheet 
metal sheets into the specialized parts. Amazing! This robot thing could save us a ton of time. Can I buy it off you? Oh, this is something I haven't seen before. Ask your crew if they agree. Our crew is not for sale. I don't know if they would be any would-be pirates or if they are legit asking for my crew member in return for scrap material. Or maybe even a weapon or augmentation. Uh, this is a tough choice. I am going to say... Eh, our crew is not for sale. A pity. In terms of payment, here's some of the scrap metal we don't need now that we've got the necessary parts. Alright, we get 24 scrap for our troubles. I really hope they do find something useful. Or someone useful. And we got us another pirate. Mercenary. As always, I am going to reject their offer and engage. Well, it's actually them who's going to engage. Let's go ahead and disable their weapons. Oh, fire. And it's firing up its FTL now. You request your lives. I request that you die. Oh, jump a minute, jump a minute. Uh oh, get to them. Oh, they jumped away. <sighs> Pity. Well, they may get to live, but I doubt we'll see them again yet. If at all. And we're stumbling across a forward scout of the Rebel Fleet. And they are going to warn the fleet of the position of us. Okay, so I'll, it looks like I'm going to have to take out their piloting or engines. I would prefer taking out the pilot system because it would buy us a few more... It would buy us some more time. Enemy FTL is still being delayed. Now they're really not getting away. The FTL is still charging up. I can still take him down yet. There we go. I'm safe. And speaking of which, I have a lot of scrap. Okay, so I can't jump from there to there to the exit. Located within a nebula. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to charge. I'm doing it. Oh, and we got five fuel! Scans reveal a number of asteroids with useful compositions. And I extract five fuel from that sucker. Oh, I'm a bit surprised that this location isn't going to be overtaken by the Rebel fleet when I jump there. Still, why risk it? The distress beacon is coming from a civilian ship. Oh, that was a distress beacon? It appears it is being chased by a pirate. Let's aid him. Those darn pirates certainly are not going to see me as one of their own after all of this. Okay, 
took out the weapon system. Okay, that should put them out of commission for a little while. And they're gone. Oh, I need to shut those doors. Apparently the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel. They thank you for saving them and offer a small reward. Any reward's a good reward. Ooh, the door's broken. Can't have that now, can we? I'd have to be thankful that this crew member's Alanius. Otherwise he... He'd have gone oof by now. Oh, we got a store beacon right here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm thinking that by the time I get to the exit beacon, the rebel fleet is going to be there already. I'm gonna do it anyway. What do they have? Drone control, mind control, hacking. Defense Scrambler would be pretty useful to have for one of the final stages of the flagship fight at the end. I'll get that. Repair back up to full. Pipe beam. Sure thing. Though I'll need to upgrade my weapon system to do so. I'm just short of getting a reactor upgrade, but oh well. The exit beacon's gonna be overtaken by the rebels. And I got a Mantis ship targeting me. As always, I'm gonna let the Ion Stunner work its magic first. Then dual laser this sucker. Chance for you, Mantis. Okay, looks like I can upgrade the reactor once. That means I'll have to deactivate my clone bay and... I'll have to deactivate my clone bay to activate the pike beam. That's for sure. We're going face to face with, face to face with the rebel fleet for the first time in a while. Wish me luck, everyone. I hope I can last. You found the exit beacon, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. I hope I can make it. Oh, oh. Get him out of here. You missed. And now the oxygen's gone too. Gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna have to send my Lanius crew member in for this. Please hurry up and charge already. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, I'm going. Zoltan Control, get me there. Oh. 
That was a close one. I thought bars would be gone for good, but then I noticed the alarm for the clone bay being deactivated. But, oh, thank goodness that wasn't the case. Oh, I gotta thank my lucky stars for that one. Okay, I'm gonna get all of this repaired. And once that's done, I'm moving on. Okay, I can get the Ion Stunner back online. I don't think I should deactivate the clone bay for the time being. Ares needs it activated to heal. You jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, its NG escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates. They're refusing all hails too. Well. Oh yeah. That's the that's the defense scrambler doing its work here. And now, the pipe beam. Oh yeah. Pipe beam does its job, and does it well. It would have done well against the... against that elite fighter that we encountered earlier. But I still wouldn't want to risk it. And we got intruders. Hi. Okay, three intruders. Okay, we are gonna have to let the lack of oxygen do its work here. Took up the piloting. Okay, I'm activating the clone bay in case Arya's dies. Okay, looks like all the intruders are dead now. So that's nice. Arya's should revive pretty soon. Okay, I'm pike beaming now. Well, it can't activate for the time being. Okay, as soon as I have the opportunity, I am going to upgrade my reactor again. It's for the clone bay. Here we go. Clone bay up. Engines barely operational. I think it's gonna be for the best that I keep the clone bay activated at all times late into the game. Because I'm gonna be up against tougher ships. No doubt. Hello. We've used the last of our FTL fuel to jump to the station. They indicate a burnout husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to this sector. We've been stranded ever since. Well, look at the surplus fuel I've got. <laughs> I'm giving them some. And they give me? Okay, so 
They give us some information about our maps, but nothing else useful. Well, there's two stores here. So do I really want to risk crossing the nebula to get to that one? Even that one? Well, it's going to slow the fleet pursuit down by a fair bit, so why not? Inside this nebula, you detect a rogue planet drifting through space. On its surface is a huge monolith visible at this distance, given to the, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails you from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desserts. You're just deserts. You're just deserts. You're just deserts. Alright, anyway. I've seen what happens sometimes when you pull the ship in closer, so, uh, best not to creep you out. I'm leaving. I don't want to get into too many fights while I'm here in this sector. I'm going to head to these stores real quick. Starting with this one. The Zoltan are fascinated by other species, and have set up something of an alien dick-back shop here. Why not take a look? First order of business is repairs. Second order of business... As much fuel as my money can buy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take care of a few ships, why don't I? Okay, no intruders are boarding, but it looks like I am up against a rock scout. I'm gonna fire the ion stunner first. And it misses. Maybe that in combination with the dual lizards should help. Okay, now I'm pipe beaming this thing. Okay, I've broken their oxygen system. But they're not going to have time to suffocate before they die. Brilliant. Oh, shield's critical. Uh, I don't have enough to get another layer of shields up. Alright, back to work. And it's an auto scout. Oh, it has a missile weapon. Pike beam time. I think I took some damage from that and the previous fight, if I recall. Next up is this beacon. Where? There are some mineral rich asteroids here that the Zoltan have left idle, but nothing of interest. What's over here? Nothing, I bet. Oh, wow. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. And bring it aboard the ship I do, but I don't have any use for it, so, uh... Sell it to the store I will. A human ship hails. My friends, please. There is nothing I don't have. And there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. 
Why not take a look around my shop? I've already been looking into repairs and selling the anti-throne, so... Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and get another layer of shields before I forget. But that means my clone bay is gonna have to be powered down for the time being. I'm not gonna be able to fight the ship because the rebels are about to gain control of the beacon it's at, so I'm going here. Can I find anything interesting here? You arrive as a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching a genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo a few scans. Participate in their study? Sure. Your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept, please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Just what I needed. Well, it is going to be for the clone bay, of course, in case more crew members die. Or clones of my crew members. Long Rage Beacon. You receive a message from a small convoy. They're looking for some military supplies and are offering to try to improve your reactor in exchange. Heck yeah! Got my reactor upgraded by one, baby. Now my engines can be what I call fully operational. And I'm gonna go into the pirate controlled sector. What would this run be without a little risk involved? This somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the Rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. Uh, yeah. I'm taking a big risk here, no doubt. But nonetheless, I think now would be a good time for a break. Um... I may get a better idea of what I want to do for my 1,000th upload special, if it even is an upload. I'm just going to let my mind do what it wants during this break, and if I come any closer to, to a final agreement, I will show it to you as soon as I have the opportunity. But as for this run, I will say this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!